Hi, welcome to this video and to this new channel. The main purpose of this channel is to teach you how to make designs in Verilog, then explain some verification techniques using System Verilog, and finally get in UVM. We are going step by step, don't worry. And before we start, I want to say sorry for my poor English, but I'm trying my best. English is not my mother tongue, but it's okay. In this video, I will show you how to design an AND gate, and we are going to work on EDA Playground because it's free and it's easy to use. And before we start, we have I have to give you some rules. Let me models inputs are always nets. You can see them here are always nets. Remember, model outputs are variables if we use procedural block or nets in other cases. Mm. Later I will explain what is a procedural block and actually today we are going to create the AND gate using procedural block and connections to the input ports instance are variables they are driven by a procedural block or nets in all, all cases you can see that here connections to the output ports of the model instance are always nets you can see that here and connections to the in out ports are always nets. And to start making our design, we have to understand what is a model. Well, a model is like a box. I will draw it. And we have to to declare our inputs. Let me change the color input A sorry for my drawing mm. input B and our output see as the rule said that in a procedural block we have to use variables to the outputs and in this case we are going to use a procedural block and for testing we have to use uh, we have to use variables to the inputs a a is called and b b and for our outputs we have to use nets c c that is how our test bench is going to work and please always remember when in one side if you if you have nets in the other side you have to have variables and if you have variables in one side in the other side has to be wires okay well let's go to destroy the hardware we have here our edit play run in this side we are going to write the design and then here we are going to write the test bench to test our design and we have on the left some tools and then I will explain how to use them but first we have to declare our model and gate parentheses and semicolon in Berlof of 1995 you were allowed only to declare our members of the model like like this a b and c and then you you were allowed to to declare if there are inputs or outputs but in the new verilog of 2001 you're allowed to declare like this input a input b and or 
output see like this but we have to we have to add that our inputs are wires because when we say that this is an input is only we are saying that is the input to the system but we have to we have to declare that as a wire because we're going to connect something to them and the output we are using procedural block so we have to declare our output as rec as well and then end model As we are gonna use procedural block, we have to we have to declare an always at and then between parentheses we have to 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 declare the sensitive list. That means that every change that is made in A and B this block is gonna be executed so we have to put begin and we have to put end in this case it's not, it's not gonna be necessary to put begin and end because it's only one statement but I recommend to do that not to make confusing the other because we can have more more always blocks but in this case we are going to use only one as well you can use mm, separated by comma or we can use or as you wish and every change in, in A and in B is going to be executed this block okay and we have to to declare our output a uh, and b we we can put them in parentheses or not and we are saying that a uh, and b is going to be the result is going to be c then I will explain some some algebra operators and some logical as well. And in this case, we are using logical. And then I think this everything in this design. And then we have to write our test bench. Our test bench as well has to be a model test bench. In a test bench, we don't have inputs, neither outputs, so we only have our variables and wires and model depending. And we are going to declare A8 as a picture and BB or wired to connect to the output, it's gonna be CC. Sorry. And then the most important thing here is that we have to instantiate the AND gate we have and create an, a model here. We are going to, to have A1 and between parentheses we have to, to write our inputs and outputs of this design because we are having in A and D design. For example, we can have we can have more A2, A3, A3, A4 depending or to design. But the syntax is, is like like this. But we have to we have to to put the um, the variables and wires here to be connected to the design for example if we don't want if, if we don't want to to make the reference to this a b c we just need to to put in order 
or variables and wires like this and it's gonna work but if you don't want to you don't care about you don't care about the the order you can declare it like that c making reference that we're using dc and then we can write our variable wire here sorry our connection is not a it's not a variable it's a connection it's a Mm, and then we have a a where sorry we have to use the a between parentheses a a and then separate by comma we have the other b we're going to put b, b here i think this is everything we have to know about instantiating and in, into a test bench we have to put or another block here because we're going to to test or or design and we can do it initial doing begin and end this is going to be executed what is beside of this block and for example at the beginning we are going to put 0 to AA we're going to put 0 to BB and then we're going to copy and paste this, this is only to test all the possibilities we have to to know that the design is working we're going to to prove all the combinations of these variables and we have to 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 give them some time to to change the value for example in this case i'm giving them one second and then i think it's gonna work but if you want to to see it or waveform, we have to declare initial begin another block and to use down file between test bc bcd this is how we can see our waveform and then bars and then we have to put finish because it's kind of weird and this platform we have to make we have to tell them when to to finish we are saying that at 6 seconds we have to finish our simulation and then I think everything is good we are going to test it oh let's wait oh sorry we have to to, to enable this open EP with after run is to make the waveform so voila we can see we have our design we have our variables of the design of, of, of variables and wires of our test bench we can see our combinations are working place I think it's, this is all I can share with you in the moment and this is my first video and sorry if I made some mistakes in my English, some mistakes saying things but I will improve everything and I will leave my email in the description where you can write me all your doubts or feedback or whatever you wanna tell me.
really thanks for watching and if you want you can subscribe bye choose